What's up, family and friends? BTY Nation. Coach Bobby here. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I'm at uh, Gavlin College in Gilroy. So a quick summary of my day so far. Had to rush home from my corporate accounts. Got me a quick workout in before that. 1,000 reps of abs, 4,000 reps of jump rope, 5,000, my BTY 5K. Then I had to rush off to get home and get my son from track practice, brought him home. Then I had to go and get my daughter from school. Now I'm at Gavlin College for my daughter's uh, basketball practice. After this, I gotta go. Hey cousin, had to have to go and get my son for his basketball practice. All said and done, I won't be home until 9.30. So all you guys who say you don't have time for greatness, time to do what you gotta do, you full of crap, all right? So I'm, I'm making time in between my obligations to do what I want to do, right? To build my brand, to, to continue my speaking career, all right? So if, if you guys get offended easily, right, this is going to be a video that's going to offend some people, all right? So I want you guys to think about whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, whatever you currently want to be great at, relationships, finances, your career, your fitness. What's up, Larry? Whatever it is, you want to lose 20 pounds, you want to build a career, you want to start a business, you want to have a better relationship with your with your children or your spouse. I want you to tell me and be honest, right? Where were you at a year ago in that goal, right? Where were you at last month? Where were you at on January 1st in that goal to have more money, to have a better body, to be healthier, to be fit, to have more, whatever it is. Where were you at on January 1st? All right, where were you at a year ago today? All right, and if, and if it hasn't changed much, then you have to change something, right? I'm getting sick and tired of talking to people and trying to get them better at fitness, right? Even though everything I teach is relatable to everything, I'm getting tired of hearing all the excuses. And so today's topic, you know, my, my title is about, is about not saying okay to yourself, right? So as a coach, it's my job to push the limits to make you great. All right. So when, when, when at any at any level, any, any coach you have is his or her job to push the limits. So when you say I don't feel good today, it's not their job to say okay. When you say I can't I can't understand that that algebra problem, it's not their job to say okay and let you keep moving or let you slack off. It's not their job. It's not my job as a coach when you say I can't do 40s today, coach. I can't I, I can't do push-ups today. I can't do any more burpees. It ain't my job to say, "Okay, it's my job to to push you beyond what you can do yourself." Right? And so that's a coach's job, right? And and when you go one step beyond that, when you get to the point where that voice inside your head is telling you things and you and you're letting that voice say what it says and you say okay that's why we're average i can't stay on this diet this voice is telling you okay i can't i can't get up at five in the morning to go work out okay i can't i can't save money i don't have discipline to do that okay i can't uh go to school after after work and get my ged or get my my aa or get my my mba i can't do that okay right average people say okay to that voice all the fucking time winners Champions push back and challenge that voice, right? Bill, we all have the same voice. I had the same voice, right? I, I'm too tired. I, I had to go, go to my son's track practice. I had to come take my daughter to basketball practice. I'm out here, people walking by, right? And this is, this is awkward. I could very easily say, I, I can't do the video today, right? My voice is saying, you can't do it today, Coach Bobby. You can't do the video, right? Your time is too compressed today. I could very easily say, okay and let it go. But champions don't do that, guys. Great people who are great don't allow that voice to dictate what they're gonna do in their life. We all have the same voice, Larry, Letty. We all have that voice that says, hit the alarm. I mean, hit the snooze bar, right? You, 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 uh, you stayed up late last night doing work. You don't have to get up this morning and go work out, right? You went for a whole week of eating, of, of eating well. You could have cake. If you keep telling that voice, okay, you won't be great. It's, it's as simple as that. And so what I'm trying to teach people in my boot camp, and now I'm moving beyond that. Now, now, I'm, now I'm getting to the point where I'm trying to teach the five steps to greatness to whoever will listen to me. Because it applies to anything in life. Not just fitness, not just losing weight. It applies to anything. I've used it for everything I've been great at in my life. 
I used the five steps to, to build a football career that lasted up until college level, and I had some chances of playing pro, didn't pan out, oh well. I used the same five steps to build a finance career, to get an MBA. Used the same five steps to stay fit into my late 40s now. Right? And now I'm using the same five steps to build a speaking career from a guy who stuttered growing up. Who's afraid, who was afraid to speak my whole life. I'm sitting out here at Gavlin, people walking by me. I'm doing a video. So being great is about challenging that voice. And I'm tired of hearing everybody say, I don't have time, I can't do it, this and that. It ain't important to you. It's as simple as that. I'm going to go over there in, in my workshop, but it's not important to you. Just say that. And, and let's move on. Because you have time to watch the shows that you watch. You have time to do all the other bullshit that you do. You have time to go out drinking with your buddies. You have time to do all this stuff, but get better. You can do all that, but you can't go to school after work to get your MBA or get your AA, whatever it is. You do all that stuff, but you can't work out. You do all that stuff, but you can't read a book to better your, your bond with your children or your wife or your husband. You do all this other stuff that you have time for, but to be great, you don't have time for that. Stop kidding yourself. Be honest with you. You don't owe me shit. You don't owe me nothing. You owe you an explanation. You owe you a reason. You don't owe me nothing. I know how to be great. I am great. I know how. So you don't owe me a reason or an excuse. Just be honest with yourself. If it's been a year or, or six months or two years and you've been trying to lose weight, it ain't important to you. If it's been a year and you ain't, you ain't gone up the corporate ladder at all, not one inch, it ain't important to you. It's been two, three, four years and you still haven't got your, got your degree. It ain't important to you. So stop saying it is. Or stop wasting my time. I got time for that. I ain't ever in my life done average, ever. Tell them, Becky. I ain't ever in my life done average. In anything I do, I ain't been average. If I care about it, I ain't going to be average at it. All average is, is the bottom of the top or the top of the bottom. I don't want to be either of those. I want to be great. If it's important to me, I want to be great at it. So either stop telling me it's important to you or let's get after it. Ain't no way. Something wrong with you? Is something wrong with you? Academically, health-wise, Mindset wise, maybe, but there's no reason why that person can lose 20 pounds and you can't. There's no reason why she can have two kids and get a degree and you can't. There's no reason why he can build his way up the career, the, 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 the career ladder and you can't. He a top 10 in sales and you ain't. Why? He ain't better than you. She ain't better than you. She wants it more than you. I fight all the time with my boot campers. Got into a fight today. Because I don't have time for excuses, right? That voice in my head, I fight it every day. I don't ever tell that voice, okay. You're big enough, coach. I don't ever tell them, okay. I don't ever say, okay, no, no, I ain't big enough. I ain't strong enough. I ain't lean enough. When I was in school, you smart enough. You ready for the test? I ain't ready for the test. Be quiet. Stop telling that voice, okay. It ain't okay to be average. You ain't born to be average. Stop saying that. I get tired of that. You ain't born to be average. Stop wasting your time on earth. I get mad. I get, I get passionate because, because I ain't special. Ask anybody if I'm from high school. I ain't special? Ask my cousin, Shorty. I ain't special. I wasn't born big and strong. My dad ain't big and strong. My mom ain't big and strong. My mom didn't finish high school. My dad barely finished high school. I got an MBA. I'm 47 almost. I'm fit as hell. I ain't special. You know what? But I want it. I want to be great. It's that easy. That's where it starts. I'm out here. I'm out here, guys. People walking by me. Students at, at, at Gavlin College walking by me. I'm a little bit awkward, but I ain't embarrassed because I, I, I care about what I'm doing. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for my daughter to finish practice. And I'm doing a video. For you guys, because I care about this. I care about what I'm doing. I care about being great, not average, not good. I care about being great. My mom passed away in 1998, and I'm not letting her down. 
My dad done sacrificed too much for me. I ain't letting him down. My sister done been in my corner since day one. I ain't letting her down. My wife and kids, they, they deserve the best version of me. I ain't letting them down. Stop being average. Stop being average from Monday to Friday and using Saturday and Sunday to, to, to mask it, to numb it. If Monday to Friday was so bad, change it. Oh, my job, I'm glad it's Friday. Why? Why are you glad it's Friday? Was Monday, through, was Monday through Friday so bad that you're so glad it's Saturday? If it's so bad, change it. Lose weight, get a degree, earn more money, be better. Stop whining about it. Stop whining about it. Get better. Be great. I'm telling you guys, I'm... I'm I ain't got time. You don't got time. We don't have time to be average. We only here so long, guys. We only, my mom died at 56, I'm 47. My brother is 56 right now. We don't have time to be average. Your kids are gonna be gone from the house soon. You don't have time to be average, guys. You only here so long. And instead of playing the whole fucking time, be great. Nothing worse, guys, than being on your deathbed and wishing you had done more. Nothing worse than that. I'm going, I'm going to live my life full. I'm going to die on empty. Right? The reason I'm, I, you know, people say, oh, why don't you, why don't you, uh, why don't you go pro? You don't want to go pro in football? I wanted to go pro, of course. Do you have regrets? No. You know why? Because everything I was, I, I, I gave out. I gave everything I had. Everything I had inside of me, I used it up. And so I'm trying to do that same thing with everything else in my life. I want to use it up. So I've been, I've been afraid to speak for, for my whole life, right? I got, I got lessons, guys. I got tools. I got a five steps to greatness that I promise you, if you apply it to whatever you want to do, it will work. I've been afraid to do it. No more. No more, cousin. No more, Rasan. No more, Danielle. No more. And you got to stop saying, you, you got to tell that voice, stop saying, okay. You can sleep in, okay. You can stop working out, okay. You can take a month off, okay. No, stop telling that voice, okay. It's not okay to be average. It's not okay to stay here where you're at. There's no reason you shouldn't be, be, be rich by now and, and slim by now. There's no reason if you want to be that. Right? You wanted to lose weight a year ago. There's no reason you shouldn't be where you want to be by now. There's no reason. Whew. I'm pumped up. So, I'm telling y'all guys, I mean, I was frustrated today because I fight with my, my boot campers too much. I fight with whoever I can talk to too much because people walk around in a daze like zombies, accepting what life gives them. And mad at those who don't accept that. You mad at her because she, cause she's sexy. You mad at him because he's rich. Right? They had the audacity to be successful. You didn't. I ain't mad at nobody. Because what they have, I can have. If I don't have what they have, I chose in my actions to not have that. So I ain't mad at nobody. I can do what I want to do in life. I can do what I want to do in life. So if I'm not there, I chose to be there. I'm not, I'm not on stage right now speaking to thousands of people because I chose to do that right now. Now I'm ready, but until now, I chose that path. The excuses are, are irrelevant. The reasons I'm not there are irrelevant. Am I busy? Yeah, so what? So what? Right? And, and, and was, it, was I imperfect until now? Was I scared until now? Yes, but so what? So you can always find reasons. They ain't hiding from you. Reasons don't hide. They don't hide, right? So, so you, want, you can find reasons, right, why you haven't lost weight yet, why you don't work out, why you don't eat right. You can find reasons why you didn't go to school. You can find reasons why you haven't, haven't advanced in your career yet. You can always find reasons. Until you stop saying, oh, matter what the reasons are, I'm either there or I'm not. Right? In my, in my seminar, I'm going to go over the contract you have to sign. There's a contract that goes with what you want. People say, ah, yeah, I do want to coach. I do want to be lean. I do want to, well, well with, that, with that one is a contract. And so you have to accept the contract, the stipulations for what you want in life. 
right? If you want to be lean, you have to accept the fact that you have to work out a lot. That's part of the contract. You want to be, be rich, you have to study and do certain things, investing and learning and meeting people. That's part of the contract. You want a, a good bond with your children, that means you got to have some uncomfortable conversations often with your daughter or your son or your husband or your wife. That's part of the contract. And so you either have two choices. You either accept the contract or admit you don't want the dream anymore, the goal anymore. Right? Because, because the only way out of the contract is either make it or admit you don't want it anymore and sign your way off that contract. So when you say you want to lose weight, you know what the, what, what, what the contract says. You know it means working out. You know it means eating right. So if you accept that, then sign away on the contract. And when you decide you can't do it no more, whatever the reason is, right? I don't, I don't care what the reason is, right? You have to do two things. Either make it to the goal or sign your way off and say, I don't want that anymore. Because more times than not, 99.999% of the time, you chose to not get it. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Your time ain't, ain't any more limited than somebody else's. Don't stop kidding yourself. You choose not to work out. You choose not to eat right. Stop lying to yourself. You choose not to study. You choose not to do videos, Bobby. You have time to do videos, Bobby. You chose not to until now. Right? So you chose to back out of the contract. Right? So admit it. Admit it. And let's move on. Stop telling me you want to do it when you, when, 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 you, when you failed on all the stipulations of the contract. Let's move on. Let's move on. Right? So, I mean, it's very simple. Either, either, either you sign up for the contract and, what's up, Jimmy B? Either sign up for the contract and hold your end of the bargain, right? And do all the things you know are required by the contract or admit you don't want it no more. I'm cool either way. Just stop lying to me and stop wasting my time. Because I told you guys early, earlier in the, in, in, the, in the talk, I don't do average. And anything I do, I don't do average. I don't teach average. I can't coach average. That ain't me. I'm not here to have fun. Right? I had a new Bobbyism today. A new Bobbyism. Right? You ready for this one? Right? So it's fun to be great, but chasing greatness ain't always fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being great is fun. I know. I'm walking around my shirt off. That's fun, right? But chasing greatness ain't fun most of the time, right? Driving around in your Bentley is fun. Getting to the point where you can buy a Bentley ain't fun, right? Right? Having your daughter be proud of you, right? And 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 call you out and say that's my daddy. That's fun. Building that bond along the way ain't always fun. Ain't always fun. So being great is fun. Chasing greatness ain't always fun, right? But you gotta accept it, right? Whatever you want, right? 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 Rashawn, right? Right? Marquis, I want to be the top salesman in, in, in my in my in my in my car dealership. Okay, what does that take? What's the contract, Marquis? What's the contract? Sixty hour weeks, right? This many phone calls. Whatever it is, you accept it. And so once you don't make it, right? It's only one way out. Two ways out. Either you make it or you accept that you that you don't want it anymore. Simple as, unless something's wrong with you. Unless you think you're not equipped mentally, physically as much as the next person, which ain't the case. There ain't a girl in this world that's equipped differently than, than, than Danielle. There ain't a guy in this world that's equipped differently than Jimmy B. Right? So if you don't if you don't get there, you didn't want it. Stop lying to yourself. You don't owe me an explanation. You owe you an explanation. Right? Don't be caught up on all the shows and say you don't have time. Right? Don't be out drinking, drinking, you know, Friday, Saturday night and say you can't afford to do, to have this course or take this supplement. That's what it is. You ain't, I mean, you ain't fooling me. You're fooling yourself. I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fit either way. I'm gonna be chasing my dreams either way, whether you're with me or you're not, right? And I got the steps. I got the secret. It's five steps, but you gotta want it. That's step one, actually. I, you know, I kind of, kind of revealed step one. You gotta want it. I mean, really want it. I mean, want it. Sign the contracts and want it. Want it and accept that you only, only, only can get out by quitting or making it. By admitting you quit or making it. Only two ways out. That's it. 
unless something's wrong with you, which is not. Right? So, that's it, man. I gotta go do some work. Right, but I, I mean, it's on my mind, you know. I, whew, I get passionate, man, because I because it's important to me, guys. We ain't here for very long. And I'm not here to play. Right? We ain't here to play and go home. We're not. Your, 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 your ancestors weren't here to play. They laid a foundation for you and you playing. They sacrificed all this for you and you playing. They came from wherever it was, Italy, Germany, Africa, wherever, right? India, sacrificed for you and you playing. And you can't be great because you lazy. Because you don't want to be great. Because it's too hard to be great. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? On a slave ship, in a, in a you know, you, you know your, 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 your great-grandparents in a one-bedroom apartment, Saving money for you and you can't and you can't do a burpee, you can't study for a test. Are you kidding me, man? It's, it's it should be embarrassing. It should be embarrassing. To me, it's embarrassing. I mean, my, my mom didn't raise nobody like that. My mom was torn over in her grave if I gave up. You kidding me? She went through, she went through too much for me, for me to give up. To say it's too hard, I can't do it. I don't have time. Are you kidding me, man? You got time, you don't want it. You got time, you don't want it. You can do it, you don't want to do it. I always say, there's a difference between won't and can't. Just say you won't. I can't get up in the morning. No, say you won't. I can't work out like that. No, say you won't. I can't study, I can't go, to, say you won't. Because somebody's doing it, somebody's doing it. You weaker than them, you softer than them. Say that, say yeah coach, I'm softer than them and we can move on. Stop saying you can't. Say you won't. Because you chose to. You chose to do it. You chose not to do it. So it's not that you can't. It's that you won't. Right? I'm tired of it, guys. I'm, 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 not, I'm not playing anymore with y'all. So I, not y'all. <laughs> I'm not playing anymore. I mean, people in my circle are going to want to be great or they're not going to want to be around me. Simple as that. I'm doing my five steps to greatness talk on Saturday, 8 a.m., if you chime in, if you if you join us in person, great. If you if you view the live stream, great. If you don't, I'm gonna be fine either way. Because because greatness, the, the, the pursuit of greatness is a choice that you make. Ain't no magic in it. Oh, you lucky coach. You can get up in the morning. You have discipline. What the hell is discipline? I want to be great. Simple as that. Simple as that. People who are rich, they ain't, they ain't by accident. They want to be rich. People who are, are, are lean, it ain't by accident, they want to be lean. People whose bond with their wife or their kids is strong, it ain't by accident, they want that bond to be strong. It ain't by accident. Stop living your, your, your life on accident. Wake up with some purpose in your life. Stop going from Monday to Friday and you can't wait till Friday night. You know what I mean? Stop doing that. If Monday through Friday is so bad, change next week's Monday through Friday. Stop letting 52 Mondays through Fridays go by and not get better. Think about it. You let, you let last year, you let 52 Monday through Fridays go by and didn't get better. Didn't get leaner, didn't get richer, didn't advance in your career. None of that. None of your goals and dreams. None of them. Because you don't have time. That ain't it. Because you weren't capable. That ain't it. Cause you weren't smart enough, that ain't it. Cause you didn't want to, ah. Cause you didn't want to, that's why. Admit it and then move on, get better from it. Admit it and move on and get better from it. All right, so reminder, Saturday, 8 a.m., April 28th, 474 Piercy Road in San Jose or live streamed. All right, if you have any questions, please ping me. Five steps to greatness, I'm gonna go over what I believe is the template for whatever you wanna do, guys. Lose weight, build a career, have a strong relationship with your family and friends, make more money, whatever you, whatever you want to do, guys, I can, I can help you, you know, start on your basketball team, you have your kids watch it, you know, they, they want to be, you know, they want to be varsity basketball players, varsity football players, they want to be in dance, whatever it is, I, if, we, if we teach them early enough, they won't suffer the way we suffer, they'll get it, they'll get it, all right, so five steps to greatness. Saturday, April 28th, 8 a.m.
All right, guys. Have a great evening. I love you guys very much. I mean, I tell my boot campers, I love them. I care. I care about us all being great together because I'm not special. And if I can do it, if, if I can apply these principles to my life and be, and be great, I can, we all can do it. We all can do it. All right? All right, guys. Have a great night. Uh, Coach Bobby saying every day, guys, we're trying to get better. I'm out here like a fool, man. I'm out here yelling. People passing by. <laughs> Cops might come out here. Uh, but, yeah, have a great night. Uh, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.